Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Peru or Peru Luru, and today I want to talk to you about eight brands I want to try in 2019. Two of these brands I've actually sort of tried, but I, I still want to, I want to try them more, and that's why I've included them in this list. There are no particular order. It's pretty much just the order that I thought of them. Anyway, the first brand I would really like to try is Makeup Revolution. I'm super interested in that concealer that they have, and I am interested in their eyeshadows. I think the Soph X Revolution has quite good reviews, palette. So I'm sort of just waiting to see if they do have a good release, and I might pick something up in 2019. But Makeup Revolution is definitely on my radar for products I, for something I want to try from. It's definitely the concealer. And I'm not sure what else I would maybe want to try, but I definitely want to try their eyeshadows. Maybe their next collab release in the next year that they come out with, see who they're clubbing with and supporting that person. I was tempted to try the Emily Edit palette, but I'm, I think I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> um, but I'd love to try the smaller shadow pants that they do have. And I think those are the ones that Angelica Narquist said are pretty decent. The concealer, I think, is probably what I do want to try though. My second brand is Sugar Peel. While yes, I do have one shadow, Kimchi, I really want to try more of the brand. I want to try more of their eyeshadows, more of their lips. I've only bought two products so far, so I'm definitely keen to try a few more. I love the look of the new shadows that they're just releasing, and I want to try some more of their lip products. It's just a brand that I would love to get behind, and I really want to make my own Pro Pan palette. Number three, Viseart. So, I should, um, I've only ever bought one palette from them, and that is the Petite Pro 3. I hate that palette, and it, it was just terrible. I ended up sending it to Annette and making her try it. She also did not like it. So, I want to give them another try. Solely because everyone talks about how amazing they are. And yeah, I think it's those bigger palettes that are worth trying, but... I'm just not, with my previous experience, I think I would rather try the other brands of this product before I come back to this one. And I'm interested in the colorful dark matte one, but I'm curious to see what they also come out with. It's a brand that I'm definitely keeping my eye on and seeing what they do come out with. Number four is Flower Beauty. They've actually just released in Australia and they're a chemist warehouse. So for the new year, to be one of the first brands that I go out and buy as soon as they hit the shelves, I want to go swatch everything and choose what I want. I absolutely adore Drew Barrymore and I cannot wait to play with her products. Number five is Menagerie Cosmetics. I really wanted that Feral palette. I was super into it, really curious. But it just didn't push me over the line. They've actually just come out that they've changed two of the shades in that palette. So maybe I'll buy it. I definitely am super interested in the Octopus and the Whale palette that they've been sneak peeking. And I think I definitely will pick up one or both of those palettes depending on how amazing it is. Number six, Strobe Cosmetics. I definitely am going to pick up the Creepy Cute palette. I need to try it. There's just no two ways around it. I don't think I'll pick up the Divinity palette, but I definitely am curious to see their next palette release and I probably will buy their next palette and Creepy Cute together and see what they're like. And I can't wait. I'm really excited to try Creepy Cute, but I can also be patient on this one. <laughs> um, number seven, Lethal Cosmetics. They are a German brand and they just look amazing. I love this. I love square pans. I have a thing for square pans and I love the symbol they have stamped in them and I really want to try that green. I'm just, I'm obsessed with green at the moment. It's terrible. But I definitely want to try the green shadow, shadow and I want to pick up a curated selection of their eyeshadows. I was going to order in Black Friday but I missed out. Everything was sold out. So in the new year they're definitely going to be on my radar. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait for a new release or if I'll just order like the Hive palette and decide. And number eight is Wet n Wild. I've never tried this brand. I actually really want to try Wet n Wild. I want to try some of their eyeshadows, lip products, glosses, any of their products I would be keen to try. I think I, yeah, I would definitely want to try and pick up one of the releases that they come out with next year. 
and just have a play. It seems like a brand that a lot of people love. I'm really excited to try them. But I've just got to figure out how properly to get them. There is Glam Radar that sells them in Australia. I think they upmarket, like they add a fair bit to the cost of the shadows. But sometimes it seems more expensive than it would be if I were to import it, like via mail forwarding or some service like that. So I haven't really decided how I will go about getting Wet n Wild. But I think I definitely will try them <laughs> at some point. Um, two brands I haven't mentioned that I will be trying for sure is Bombshell Cosmetica. This is a brand that MMM Mitchell promotes on Instagram and my pre-order palettes from them are on their way. I'm just waiting for them to be shipped and hopefully they are here when I get back from Adelaide, which is, yeah, still a little while away. And, and I already know for sure that I will be trying... Cleona Cosmetics. I have ordered the Arkeo palette and it's on its way to me. I cannot wait to play with it. Anyway, I'd absolutely love to know what brands you want to try in 2019 or are you part of the no Bright crowd? Are you excited to just watch me try these brands? <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.